a special day. Our audience is filled with breast cancer survivors. Pink Power is in the house. Yeah. I know. And while we are celebrating survivors here today, we are also dealing with the unfolding news coming out of Las Vegas. So I want to bring you up to date on what you need to know today. First, we are hearing more stories of bravery and heroism out of Nevada, including Travis Fippen and his father, uh, John, who used his, their, both of their bodies to shield two total strangers in front of them. John, a father of six, died during the attack trying to save others. And 29-year-old Sonny Melton, we mentioned him yesterday, a registered nurse from Tennessee who attended the concert with his wife, Heather, a doctor. He was her OR nurse. Uh, he saved his life. He saved her life only to lose his moments thereafter. And we know now uh, in, the, in the hard news category that the girlfriend of the shooter behind Sunday night's ma uh, mass shooting in Las Vegas is now back in the United States. You saw this? Uh, her name is Mary Lou Danley. She arrived in LA overnight on a flight from the Philippines. And in footage obtained exclusively by NBC, she was seen in a wheelchair, we don't know why, being escorted by FBI agents who want to talk to her. It is not clear where she was being taken, but the Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo said earlier on Tuesday she is currently a person of interest, but not a suspect. Uh, later this afternoon, the president will go to Las Vegas uh, with plans to visit with patients and heroes and first responders. We are thinking of all of them. And you know, grief counselors are weighing in today, offering some tips on how best to deal with all of this sad news. They say, consume it. You know, it's okay to stay up to date on it, but try not to get mired in it which can exacerbate fear and anxiety. I feel that if I take in too much of, you know, if, if you all day long just read and read and read all the sad stories, you know, you start to feel it up here. And so it can be hard. What they say is to move forward as best you can and maybe take a moment here or there to celebrate our shared humanity. These heroism stories help with that. Uh, and we have something to help with that too. You guys, we're gonna bring you some news that every parent can appreciate. Raise your hand if you're a parent. Okay, oh, wow, almost everybody here. Okay, well, if you wanna know if your child's getting in trouble with his or her teachers, there's now an app for that. Listen to this. <laughs> Over 100,000 schools are using an app called Class Dojo to provide real-time updates about what your kids are up to. Do we want this? <laughs> there's even a helpful pie chart that tells you whether little Timmy's being naughty or nice. <laughs> Green means he's doing great. Red means he's being bad. And my first thought of this on this is like, what teacher wants this? <laughs> you know, it's like takes helicopter parenting to a new level, but you know that the parents are gonna be like, no, it wasn't bad. The other girl started it. <laughs> you know, teachers have enough to deal with without us bothering them, and you know we will. Uh, well, if you get depressed just thinking about going to the gym, here's one for you. You might be depressed because you are not going there. A study in the American Journal of Psychiatry finds that even small amounts of exercise can put you in a happy place. And thankfully, it does not take much they say that just one hour of exercise a week, one a week could prevent 12% of depression cases. Can you believe that? Especially if you spend that hour running to the spa, <laughs> run away from the gym, it counts. <laughs> Apparently the happiness boost may be thanks to the physical benefits of exercise as well as its social elements. You know, you see friends or you feel like, again, shared humanity, it's sort of it's not exactly church, but it's not completely dissimilar to church either, being with your fellow human beings. Uh, okay, so, you know it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we wanna kick it off here, yes. And here today, we are celebrating Pink Power. So we wanna check in with our friend and breast cancer survivor, Hoda Kapi, who is manning the phones over in Studio 1A all morning, and some brilliant medical minds have been answering your questions. Hoda, Hi, all right, I've gotta How start with this. I did not know that your doctor was Freya Schnabel, the brilliant yes. Freya Schnabel, who I will tell you is my doctor as well. Yeah. I go there for my mammograms. I had a scare a couple years ago. Love her and the importance of a good team around you when you fear bad news or get bad news cannot be overstated. You're absolutely right. When you choose a doctor, as you know, Megan, I mean, they're all very, very, very qualified. Then you have to choose someone who you love. Like, that's what I figured. I figured once I knew the person was medically awesome, like Dr. Freya Schnabel is, then after that, I just, choose the, I just chose the heart, and Freya was the one for me. And especially when you're going through a scary time like that, mm -hmm. you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle this, but she walked me through it. How important, Hoda, is that it was the early detection in your case, and what are you hearing from people on the phones about who might be afraid to go, you know, get that first mammogram? 
Well, as a confession, I, I really didn't ever get a mammogram. I sort of found it accidentally when I went to the gynecologist and it ended up being cancer. And I, I, I worked a health show. I was actually telling people to go get mammograms and I didn't do it myself. But I have to say, what, they still caught it early with me. It was stage one and a lot of people here are, are, are talking about those kinds of things. But I have to say, if you survive breast cancer or anything, you get four words. And those four words are, you can't scare me. Because you have overcome that. And what you realize after you've come through the weeds on something as terrible as breast cancer and you're still standing, every decision you make is easy. The world snaps into focus. And there, so there is kind of a silver lining at the end of it all. I mean, you don't realize it when you're deep in it. But once you emerge, I gotta tell you, Megan, life changes in a way that you didn't expect mm -hmm. and in a good way. Mm -hmm. And um, I think a lot of women are, are learning these things and we're hoping that our experts are helping guide them on the phones mm. today. We see it, Hoda, in your warmth and your joy and what you bring to all of us every day. And I know that was a transformational period in your life in many ways, 10 years later, Haley Joy, loving oh. your life. You oh. look awesome. Thank you. I if you wanna talk to Hoda, you can call her now. Thank you, love. We're Thank with her you. later. The lines are still open. You can call. The number is 212-790-2290. 212-790-2290. You can tweet uh, using hashtag Pink Power Today, or you can email Pink Power Today at NBCUni, NBCUNI.com. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.